Hey everybody, it's Bruce Fur. Went to the store the other day, got my very first Iron Man 2 action figure, and I picked up the first figure in the line, the Iron Man Mark 1 armor from the movie. Was pretty excited to get this. He looks really, really good. Um, I really like the attention to detail on the character. A lot of the, the gears and the bolts and whatnot are on this character. And very looks looks very true to the the, uh, the Mark I armor that they had in the movie. This is from the movie series of the figures. Um, <clears throat> just looking at the figure, and I'm not sure how well the uh, colors will show up on the camera, but they did a really nice job with the paint on this figure. He looks really, really dirty, really oily. Um, there's they've done a lot of um, shading on it a lot of uh, it almost looks like they dipped him after they painted him I'm not sure anybody that's familiar with with a painting technique called dipping um, that's almost what this character looks like he was he was dipped after he was uh, the initial coat of paint was on him so I'm not sure if that's what they did or if it's in the actual plastic itself some other things that I did notice on this character I noticed like on the back here that where the seams come together for the plastic there's these little darker colored bumps and what they look like is and, and I'm not sure that it's intentional I think it's just the way the mold is but it may be intentional um, somebody let me know if, if you think it's intentional or not but it looks like welding spots anybody that knows welding knows when you join two pieces of metal together sometimes when you when you're just tacking it or whatnot you get those spots those bumpy ridges there and that's what it looks like it, it, here and here and on the back of the arm here. They look like welding tacks. So uh, to me, that looks like another great, uh, just a little little addition to the, the character. It's the great detail um, adding to this character. I really like the detail on this character. It's, it's really great. They, these, this toy line actually impresses me a lot. They really, really paid attention to the detail on the characters that they brought out for for the series and I can't wait to see what other ones they decide to bring out. Um, so as good as this character looks and as good as the paint is, I was really, really disappointed in the launcher. Now the launchers, pretty much on all these, look big and, and, and kind of silly. The paint is, is all solid. There's no detailing on the paint whatsoever. And actually the color orange here, they really did it really sloppy. I mean, it just looks like it was... Like somebody just took a, like just really quick one, pump, 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 and it's it's really sloppy. It's some of it's bleeding, some of it isn't finished. So as good as this looks, this looks horrible, and it doesn't really fit on his arm. It's supposed to go on, this, and it's supposed to sit on the arm underneath here, but it looks really awkward. So I, I don't think I'll ever display him with that on there, just because it looks so horrible compared to the actual figure. So that's the uh, Mark I armor there for the Iron Man 2 movie figures. Great looking figure. If you own any of them, this should be one of the first buys you get because he looks really, really good. I look forward to getting more of them. I, my plan is to have all of them, so my wife is probably going to love that. And there you go. That's Mark I armor.